Hello folks and welcome back to the Vertigo Tea Party and Let's Play Production Line. So, few things. Uh, I did finish up the research, just show you real quick. Uh, we've got pretty much everything researched as far as breaking down the various slots uh, into their sub-slots as much as I can. The only one I haven't done yet I forgot about is the polished paintwork because technically that one is completely optional. Uh, it's considered, considered like a bonus, makes the car work more valuable. But I'm going to go ahead and research that now. So, uh, I also did build some more research uh, people. So, I actually made a mistake here. I went ahead and rented this out. I don't think you can unrent out anything, as far as I can tell. Uh, so, that's kind of a waste. So, long story short, I tried to build this assembly line. Like I said, I want the, my next assembly line. I want this, these all broken down as small as possible. Uh, for possible future upgrades and to make the cars faster. However, as mentioned, it also makes your line a hell of a lot longer. To put it in perspective, all of this is not long enough to fit everything we need. So I'm actually going to have to go ahead and rent out this as well. Hopefully this doesn't uh, this doesn't screw us up. But first things first, and I'll kind of talk about my thought process on what, how we're going to try to build this. I don't know if it's going to work, but by God, we're going to try. And we'll do that. And I'm doing that more to just so I can get an idea of of how much space we need. Because figuring out space when you're doing this is probably the, the hardest part. So first, let's build our chassis assembly. And again, we're not gonna build the one big thing, because remember, the chassis assembly normally is about this big. Keep that in mind, because we're actually gonna build it via the subcomponents. And as usual, it goes from top to bottom in order. It has to be in this order. So front, fit front axle first. And again, first I wanna build this out, and then I'll, I'll explain more about what we're actually doing. Uh, we should be able to build that there, I believe. That's the front axle, then we're gonna do the rear axle. The drive shaft. The undercarriage. And the fuel tank. So again, size-wise, you can already see it's gonna be quite a bit longer. However, the big thing we're gonna be doing that's different this time is I'm gonna put a conveyor in between each one. Come on. There we go. Uh, and I will go ahead and I'll get a conveyor going to these guys just so they can get to working. Making stuff. Alright. So next we want to... We're going to collapse this and we're going to expand out the fit body. Now this is where things get fairly insane as far as how long the line is. Any of this stuff, make hood, make trunk, you can ignore this uh, because it's not part of this, this assembly, which is why I think it should be somewhere else. But, um, but yeah, we don't have to worry about those, but we want to expand these as far as you can to see all of the subunits uh, or the substations, whatever they're called, whatever weird name they chose to give it. Uh, or again, it's probably an industry standard name. I don't think the developer just made it up. Anyway, so first we're going to go with the fit body shell. And again, we're intentionally going to leave a gap here. And again, I will explain that later. So the body shell, the hood, trunk bumpers or nope nope we want uh, front bumper rear bumper bottom trim and front arch and rear arch so again in comparison this is the fit body frame that this is like by itself this is it split up so you can see it's uh, it's a hell of a lot. And hell, this is the entire body itself all as one. So you can see these things are getting very, very long. So we're all finished at that. We did do the vent. No, we forgot the vent. I always forget the vent. Rear arch and vent. That is everything for the body. So we're going to go ahead and put a gap. We're going to collapse that just so I can keep it straight to my head. So now we're going to do the roof. Now, the roof I don't have anything under for, which is weird because I swore that there was a subcomponent for the roof, but apparently not. So we will build that there. And we're still doing pretty good on money. That's one reason I let the game running too at uh, slow speeds is so that I'm making money. Uh, fit roof is done. Now we just need the doors. What do we have under doors? It's only three parts. 
Uh, actually, we, again, we want the extra conveyor space though, so let's build that out now. So I don't mess up when I with my placements. That's the roof. I'm just double and tri triple checking everything because if you make a mistake, because everything has to be in order, that means you have you not ne not technically, but you almost have to go back and delete a bunch of stuff. You can end up moving stuff around, but it ends up screwing up your overall uh, overall design. So you don't want to mess that up. So that's the body done. And again, that all of that is the body. What used to be this. <laughs> so yeah, a lot of room. And we're still probably not going to fit this all on one one line here. So we got the body done. Oops, let's do the paint now. I'm hoping this undercoat is going to be finished by the time I get there. Uh, if not, I can speed up time. So we want the paint undercoat. The dry undercoat. Paint finish. Dry finish. And then the polish is coming up. How much time you guys got on that? Oh my, quite a lot. So let's pump up the time so that this goes a little quicker. And while we're waiting, we might as well get these guys working. New route to stockpile. What? What are you talking? Oh, I think it just doesn't like that I haven't built this out yet. Maybe? Even though it doesn't make sense? No route to stockpile. I don't know what that means. There we go. Oh, 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 right, right, got you. Never mind. I got you. I'm an idiot. Yep. I'm an idiot. Ignore everything I just said. It makes perfect sense. I'm just dumb. All right. Let's go ahead and hit these hooked up. While we wait for this resource to get done. And if we finish this before I... Ooh, we're getting low on money, though. These, uh, these connecting lines, it's gonna be a little bit more expensive than you than you think. So we're gonna go fairly lenient on them for now. Just put them where we, oops, absolutely have to, I say, as I put that unnecessarily. All right, so they say have sufficient resources now. That's completely fine. How are we doing on a research? Just about done. Bring her back down to normal, let's pause it, nope. Uh, let's get out of there and go back to normal speed. I think it game pauses when you're in research screen, but I'm not 100% sure. So this stuff I want to improve because I know from experience that paint stuff is very, very slow. Uh, or that tends to be my, my slowdown. So faster drying is now uh, researching. Next slot not connected. All right, that's, that's fine. You guys can just wait. Next up, we are going to go ahead and put in that paint, polish paint work. Kind of breaking my rule of just mass producing cheap cars with that because you don't actually have to have that but because it's it counts as a a unit a building i'm gonna go ahead and make it so painting is done now we have the engine again i want to break down all these i definitely think all of this stuff the make needs to be split off because when you're trying to figure out what you need to make in order to make all the subcomponents. It, it can be, if you don't remember all of this, which I will never remember, uh, then it can be a little frustrating. So fit powertrain is really huge, as you can see. So now you're gonna see where we're gonna have to loop around. So that's the fit powertrain, the radiator. Uh, hmm. So now we're gonna have to loop, which is kind of gonna mess up my overall plans. But it is what it is, I guess. Ugh, this is gonna be messy. Um, Cause my concern is, I'm gonna build the export now. Shit. Uh, let's see if we can still make this work. We don't have to use this export, but I'd hate to go all the way up here for the export, right? Like that seems like that would be really inefficient, but we might not end up having a choice because this obviously has to have a path straight to it. 
Ah, uh, but see, yeah, the cars will be going back and forth. That's not going to work. Well, bloody hell. So we're just gonna have to get rid of this export. This is definitely suboptimal, to say the least. But, oh well, live and learn, I guess. So, let's go ahead and just complete. Uh, if we did end up playing again, we definitely know now that this takes up so much room, we can't even fit it into the largest of the warehouses. So that's good to know. So let's go ahead and finish this line over here. Powertrain, the radiator. Yeah, we'll do this. I'll see an issue with this immediately. Which again, this kind of completely and utterly destroys my thought process, or the, what I wanted to try with this. But, oh well. Again, live and learn. That's kind of, you know, what the point of playing these games is. Finding out what works, what doesn't work. And I think my, my idea would work, it just has to... Uh, uh, we just have to mess with it some more. Sometimes you can't place things adjacent to each other. Like that, even though there's nothing blocking. I don't quite know why that is. Steering column and steering wheel. So that is the fit engine stuff done. And we don't even need to build a gap anymore, actually. I, and I will talk about what my plan was in a minute, once we get this, this ball rolling. Steering wheel. All right, so accessories. Ah, shit, we don't have accessories at all? How did I miss accessories completely? Where are you, accessories? Oh, wait. Ah, that's why. Yep. Dang it. All right. Let's speed up time so this research is... Luckily, accessories is very inexpensive, so this won't take too long. Well, unfortunately, I think we did pretty good the first video. This video has just been me screwing up pretty badly. But, again, I'm not too worried about it. This is my... I consider this my real third game uh, into it. So I'm not overly worried about making mistakes. Let's go ahead and go back to faster drying. Uh, we are... I do see our money is uh, getting a little bit lower. So we want to be careful with that. Let, you know what? Let's go ahead and build a space in between. I would just feel better if there was one little bit of space. Because we still could have things split off if we need to. Seats. Windscreen. Uh, air conditioning we can't do yet, apparently. Uh, dang it. Where is air conditioning at? Oh, see, I think that's under technologies. Any kind of... I think that's like the one and only thing that's a building that's over here. Yeah, it does. Um, so we'll just leave a spot for that for now. And hope it's hope it's big enough. And yeah, let's go ahead and... Let's actually go ahead and start to go for that air conditioning. I mean, air conditioning seems like a, you know, fairly important uh, feature, depending on where you live. So we got the windscreen. Let's go to the dashboard. Luckily, everything is fitting so far. The... oh. Oh, I didn't leave a spot. Of course, right after I said, let's make sure to leave a spot. We'll go ahead and wait for that to finish up. We'll go ahead and finish this conveyor. Might as well get this making us... well, getting ready to make us money while we wait. Efficiency is the name of the game after all. Well, technically it's production line, but same thing. All right, now, maybe finally, uh, let's go with more drying. Because again, paint the paint stuff is pretty slow. We're at 260-ish money-wise. We're mostly going down. We're starting to get more expensive than income. Uh, so we've got to get this finished up. Where's the aircon? That is the windscreen. Dashboard. Probably gonna... I might take a, like a safety loan out.
All right, let's go ahead and save it a new slot too. Tea Party Motors 2. I said motor, but who cares? Electronics. Quality check. Kind of want the quality, quality check somewhere else, but... I am intentionally putting it a space out extra. And export will be the last thing. So let's... Yes, thank you. I do wish you could actually set this up, like, say, okay, research these three things so that you didn't have to constantly stop to go back. But again, it's early access, stuff like that's to be expected. Uh, let's get the resource conveyors going because that's what's hurting us the most right now. And we really, really, really need to get uh, this making up money. Not ideal connectivity here. I want to go back and we'll, we'll go back and get some of this stuff sorted out. But right now, we just want to get them going. Conveyor belts. Hopefully, I've got everything in order. If not, I'm going to be super unpleased. No route to stockpile. Oh, I never connected these. Nope, not that. Resource conveyor. It's not what I meant, but that will work. All right, we're getting low on money. Insufficient resources. All right. We're going to be very careful building this conveyor. Nope. Nope. Come on. Yeah, I do wish the game gave you a little bit of leeway when it comes to running out of money. Yeah, this is... This is insanely suboptimal, to say the least. Oh god, yeah, this is... this is hideous. Oh, mmm, shit. This is gonna be a problem. Oh, that's right. I said we couldn't really do this. That's right. So we're gonna have to bring it from over here. Wow. Uh, let's go ahead and take another loan out. I'm gonna pause it. Take a loan. Yeah, really, really bad connectivity here. On my part. All right, that doesn't need to be there. We can sell that. Next slot not found. Oh, if you ever get that next slot not found, look at any kind of connection. Uh, faster conveyor would be good right about now because until now we haven't really needed faster conveyor belts. Come on. How is it not? Come on. We haven't really needed to worry about. How is this? Not I keep trying to move the camera. Am I gonna have to... Wait, come on. Go this way. Ugh. This is the bad part about having it on, uh... Like, really fast speed. I'm gonna slow it down just to keep that from happening. So I can sort this out while I'm being interrupted every two seconds. How is it not found? I keep trying to twist the camera around. I think I said that before. Am I gonna have to delete this and, like, remake it? Yeah, let's just remake it. I'm tired of fighting that thing. Uh, what was that? That's the quality check. See, this is what I mean, like, why can't I put this here? Like, it was just there. Again, I'm assuming that's, uh, just a bug with... <laughs> bug with the, uh, thing. With the early access. No, don't go. Yeah, just go there. Come out here. Turn here. And then go in the... Well, come on. Most of the time, this isn't a problem with the conveyors. Every now and then it can be a pain. Oh, wait. You know what? Did I connect these? Oh, that's the problem. It wasn't there at all. It was over here. There we go. All right, so now it should be speeding right along. Nope, still not. Um, I don't know why. Oh, 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 because, oh, I see, I see. Must have pulled these wrong way. It was going the wrong direction. Wow, I have been nothing but screwing up this video. I apologize. 
Now? Ah, oh, come on, Jesus Christ. Oh, it's here, messed up here too, what the hell? And here, what the hell? I thought I... All this money wasted. Dra delete that, because that was going the wrong way too, I think. I must have been trying to dra do it so quick. Let's just go this way. And then this way. I think this is still the wrong way, I think, yeah. Yeah. I wish you could just, like, click on them to flip them. Like, don't make me delete and remake. How about now, please? Oh, for the love of God. Where... And it would also be helpful if it would actually... The black and yellow can be a little difficult to discern sometimes, especially if it's just like one thing that's causing the problem. Everything looks good up into here. Because it's, if anywhere, it's probably going to be on one of the cross, cross area. Oh, okay. It looks like this maybe? But this has to come out here. Nope, this has to come out here. That should not be a problem. All right. I want to make sure this one goes. Ah, thank God. Wow. Oof, man, 21 minutes of failing to get this set up. All right, so while this gets going, what my plan was, was to say, okay, not everything is Radiant Eagle. Not all subsections, not all whatevers are created equal insofar as how long they take to produce anything, right? So my thought process was this, say, okay, well, let's say that the chassis section here was producing chassis like mad, but this, the uh, bumper and the body section can't keep up, which is exactly what we're seeing right here. So what I could do is say, okay, well, I'm going to make a side road off of the side here, or a side uh, conveyor, and build another body section over here. That way, when this gets backed up, they can send the extras over here so that we've got two sections producing or working on the cars as quickly as possible. So what we want to do now is I kind of want to see, all right, so as again, as mentioned, well, actually it's the quality check that's taken a while. There's no upgrades for quality check. And God knows I am terrified of re redoing that shit. My God. Hmm. So they're behind permanently. So we gonna have to do something about that quality check. Because they are taking way too long. Because I think even when things kind of get sorted out, I think the rest of the line... Well, actually... I think once the quality check gets caught up, these areas might be slowing us down. So let's go ahead and start... Actually, you know what? I was going to build robots for these guys. I'm not going to do that just yet. I'm going to let them keep just doing their thing for the time being until they get sorted. And in the meantime, let's go ahead and speed time up a lot. Let's go ahead and get as many robots going here as possible. So we can get these cars pumped out. We got a bunch that are in the warehouse. We might have to start lowering our prices again because we are missing features. By the way, one cool thing that you have here in the in the technology section is you'll see these little icons next to various resource or uh, research and features. So that this means that the heater, when it's got an infinity, infinity sign over the car, that means everybody else has this feature or everybody has this feature. If it's great, that means everybody but you has this feature. It's considered a universal feature. All cars are expected to come with it. So my cars are taking a hit because of that. Uh, this means, I think, a couple other cars, or a couple, th couple, uh, couple other manufacturers are creating vehicles with car alarms, so it's pretty common. One car, I believe, is just rare, so like one other company might have electrical windows. So it doesn't really hurt us that we don't have those yet. But uh, I, I don't know how sustainable over the long term it is to just mass produce cheap cars that have like no features. Hey, speaking of, uh, your fifth, five, fifth hundred car has rolled off the production lines. Sweet. And that's one of the nice things about the strategy is that you just make tons and tons of cars. 
And if you're going to go this route, but obviously it, at some point you're almost certainly going to have to to lower your prices, right? Uh, people are not going to want to keep paying a premium for cars with less features. You make it up in volume, volume, volume. So as you can see now, the the quality check is is doing fine. So now we need to see where is our holdup. So let's look at the paint jobs because yep, paint as usual is slowing us up. Let's go ahead and go through here and get these going. Paint undercoat. We don't have the nozzles yet. I think that's what I the next thing I upgraded. Sometimes when I try to click on the actual station, I click on a car. So let's buy all the painting upgrades to get those going as fast as possible. Because, yeah, like I said, before in my other game, painting uh, is what really slowed me down. I knew there was another one. Let's dry that paint as quickly as possible. And see, we can still kind of do this strategy, right? So this is slowing us down. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to have another paint section because I think no, even fully upgraded paint is fairly slow. Uh, da, 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 da. Super fast imports. I don't not really ready to make my own stuff yet. I haven't really messed with import priorities. That would probably help with some of our like out of resource problems, but. Uh, predictive stock control. Supposedly that helps because you're ordering, I think, or ordering your parts before a cycle instead of after. That way you've got a better idea of what's coming. And I guess they get the parts before the car gets there. I don't really fully understand that. Uh, I have researched it. I didn't notice a huge difference, but that was only one game. So it could have just been something that I missed. All right, so let's go ahead and break this up into separate sections. Hopefully you guys are still enjoying the series. I hate that I... I butchered this one so badly, but yeah, like I said, to me, that's part of the ones things I like about this game is experimenting, trying things, trying different strategies. Some of them work, some of them don't. And I don't think this is a strategy problem so much as a execution on my part. All right, so that's the dry undercoat. Paint finish. Dry finish. Polish. Now, polished paintwork, again, is optional. It does add value to the car. Let's go ahead and get these guys upgraded because we did get those upgrades done. High pressure paint nozzle. And you can see on here, by the way, yeah. this is this is exactly why, again, and I keep in mind any criticisms I make about this game are based on the knowing that it is early access. So I, I realize that when I say, oh, I wish this game had this. Uh, upgrades, unlocks, upgrade at slot, high output power plant. Somebody in the comments mentioned that uh, your power usage is just, it takes you more power, or it takes more money, rather. Uh, high output power plant. Well, I don't want to worry without that just yet. Um, I guess we can actually start working on upgrades because there's nothing else that I'm seeing that I really want. Um, we could go, actually, you know what? We can unlock new body styles. So let's go this route. We can get new body styles. Instead of just making the same boring old sedan. Uh, and let's also put it at, let's put it at two times speed so that we're not getting the research pop up all the time. At least while, until we get the second paint thing upgraded and all that. Uh, paint undercoat. Yep, high pressure nozzles. I do like that um, when you buy something, it'll t typically tell you what the upgrade is. Or like what it does. So for example, this music is, I still like this music a lot. Uh, it says speed, 10% bonus speed. And the predictive, the, I guess the predictive control or whatever, stock control, it can't really know exactly how much faster that's going to be, right? Uh, it, it'll fluctuate is what I mean. All right, so let's get this conveyor system hooked up. I really need to work on my conveyor system as well. I, I feel like I really need to just stop at some point, obviously probably off camera, and kind of just watch how it works to understand how to properly, efficiently design my uh, my resource provision system. 
provisioning system, if you will. All right, so now let's get this thing hooked up. <laughs> Hopefully the right direction this time. Again, I don't typically have that problem with with the with the rope or with the uh, conveyors. Come on. So now, and this again, I love this about the game because again, I feel like a lot of early access games of this type would not have this, uh, or even full games, frankly, uh, where it's smart enough to go, oh, you know, this is full. I need to go ahead and kick you down to another section that can do the same thing. I love that, that's that's awesome. We're already back up to like 1.1 million where we were. Of course I said that. And you can see, oh, we actually need to upgrade this. I was like, why is this going so slow? It's because you have not got the upgrades, that's why. Because the other thing I wanted to do, other than splitting off these, uh, these units, I think the game calls them, uh, other than just being able to split those off, is I'd also like to be able to build factories making some of the parts. One, so it's cheaper and so that it's faster, so that you stop running, you know, this message is, oh, you're running out of resources. So let's let this go. I'm just kind of watching it here. See, we're painting is still behind. We like cannot keep up with the paint jobs. And that's with paint fully upgraded. Let's see what, what, what our holdups are here. Waiting for next slot. Uh, yeah, it's a lie. You're not waiting for next slot that much. Because we can sit here and watch you. You're getting the next Oh, okay, I had clicked on the right one. Okay, that's even less waiting for the next slot. I'm calling, I'm calling shenanigans on that. Now, I could see a case where this was like a little bit behind. So, like, it pushed the car over here when there was a slot and this just happened to open up. But that's going to be fairly rare, I bet. And this is blowing through, like, no problem. I almost think I need a third paint. I mean, I was going to give it a minute to see if it kind of, like, you know, caught up. But one thing this game desperately does need is a way to quickly upgrade your various uh, slots. I don't... I mean, there might be, and I just haven't found it yet. But when you start upgrading things to make your cars better, it can be a, like a royal pain in the ass to go and find all the machines that you need to turn those individual upgrades on for. All right, so we get administration, which doesn't actually do anything for us, but we can go to body design, which also does nothing for us, but it unlocks SUV body and compact body, which are the only other two body types available so far. So we are starting to get a little backed up over here, so let's speed this up some. Let's go through here. Buy all the robots and the predictive body control. It's going to do all the upgrades. All the upgrades. I love the music, sorry. It does get a little bit repetitive, but at the same time, it's also rocking out. So it's repetitive rock out music. So worst case scenario. You're still rocking out while you're mass producing cars. Can't ask ask for too much more on that. On that end. But yeah, I definitely could see this. The strategy again seems to be working. The overall strategy of just making tons and tons of car. Because uh, you know, as you saw, there's a few features, uh, like there's a couple at least universal features that we don't have yet. And it's not really hurting us just yet. I'm spending a lot of money on building out these lines, uh, getting all these upgrades. And, you know, we're, we're still sitting around a million, even with me spending all this money. So I'm not, uh, not overly concerned. Now, see, we might start falling behind a little bit on quality check. So what we might end up doing is destroying this one, having this loop back around, and then having two different quality checks. Uh, depending on how quickly they can get through. Now, I haven't upgraded this stuff because, quite frankly, there's no need to do it because we still have a, a line here. So let's go ahead and make yet another paint. I don't know why paint is just so slow. I think, I'm guessing just, you know, the, you know, making the, you know, waiting for the paint to dry. I guess that's why they had to say, waiting for the paint, or, you know, wash, boring is washing paint dry. Apparently, uh... It's got a good basis in reality, because even in the 
efficient manufacturing environment. It's not the most exciting fast thing in the world. Dry finish, polish. All right, let's get you. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead. Resource importer. Wait, what? Is that an export? Oh shit, that's an export. Interesting. Did not realize that. I don't know if that would have actually changed anything as far as that goes, but let's go ahead and connect this up. We're we're at eight. We're actually dropping money a little bit. Not again. Not overly concerned right now about that. And again, the reason I hooked this to this line is so that I feel like this, and for this exact reason that you're seeing right now, this is going to be, you know, bored just supplying this, by just supplying this uh, paint section. It's going to run out of stuff to do. So if I connect it to the main line, it can also, you know, kind of shore up some holes that I've got going on over here resource wise. So yeah, it's really helping them uh, just really spit out the goods. So hopefully at this point, after we get this stuff upgraded, we'll finally, finally be at the uh, the level that we're not waiting on the paint to dry. Waiting on the uh, the ink to dry, as it were. But in this case, it's uh, paint. I'm, I'm curious to see if this is, like, gonna finally be enough. I would think so, surely. And if it is... Then now, then we'll go back and go ahead and start upgrading this stuff. We well, spent a lot of money there, but again, I don't really worry too much about that right now. Now the question is, we got 13 cars in the showroom. So, maybe we should just start selling them at a little bit of a discount. Right now, I don't feel like we need to, so I'm kind of okay. Oh my god. Alright, so now we have a lot of cars. Waiting to be sold. And we can't really loop back around, unfortunately, to use this this port, which I thought that was a uh, import. We can't use this because I completely, completely screwed this up. I'm just trying to look and see if there isn't some way to unf this, but I I don't think so. I think I think I've I've screwed us pretty well here. Because you can't have this conveyor going both ways, right? You can't have a car is going this way and then the car is going out that way. What I could do... Now, even that's not going to work. I was going to say what I could do is build out the export here. But I don't even know if that's going to work. But we're having a backup on export and that is unacceptable. Man, I have I have built this in probably the ideally worst way that is humanly possible. Let's resource the SUV first. If there was an outlet over here, or an export outlet over here, that would be perfect. But there is not. There's not one over here. I think we're just gonna have to build that out. Uh, otherwise, I'm just gonna have to like, do some serious restructuring over here. Yeah, let's go ahead and build this out, because this is gonna hurt us. And I think the money it's gonna cost to open this up, is going to be made up if this actually works in just having these cars go this way. Let's see how this goes. Let's just build you straight out. Okay, that, that was my big concern. I didn't know if it was going to be smart enough to send some of these cars this way. In this case, it looks like it is, which makes me very happy. Wow, that cleared the cleared that out very quick. Nice. That's what I like to see. I, don't, I definitely do not want to see cars waiting to be uh, exported. That's for damn sure. So let's check some of these lines here. Let's check our graph. How are we doing? Waiting for next vehicles definitely are one of our big issues. What I would like to see... Are consuming a ton of paint. Holy cow. One thing I'm not sure if you can see is what I would like to see is historically like this is always like waiting on resources. Okay, historically, what resources are you waiting on? And again, this is where I would love to be able to just go in here and like just say, okay, upgrade everything like buy the predictive stock control for everything. But I cannot do that, unfortunately, but 
because these are the smaller, well, I guess technically the more centralized units, I can just go through and click on them. But again, and I'm gonna keep saying this, it's early access, so understandable that that kind of stuff isn't been quite, quite 100% uh, figured out yet. I'm gonna buy extra robots just because. Quite frankly, again, I just like to watch all the little robot arms doing work, even if it's not the most efficient thing in the world. I know, I know, blasphemy, especially in this game. I will say this game is great about wanting to to scratch that efficiency itch, itch, because I do like building things and trying to be really efficient with them. And this game definitely, definitely emphasizes that without question. And even here, over here with these like all in one units, I could have, I could have split these up or I not split them up, but I could have built a little road like, cause really if you're going to build like play, I guess what I would say normal, where you plan on eventually getting the upgrades for your, your cars, like earlier rather than later, you would probably never snap them together like I did. You would always leave at least one space between them so that you can build the conveyor belt out to split off. Because that way, if, like, let's say you're like, okay, I'm starting off, I'm gonna build my, a very simple line just so I can start making money. But then, oh, okay, I've upgraded, and now I can break paint down into all its subcomponents. If I have a road here, I don't have to destroy this one. I could just build a sub, build a uh, conveyor out and then have a second paint that's all broken into parts and then theoretically bring it back in now of course that's going to be difficult because these when they bro when they're broken down take up a lot more room so you'd end up having the paint be this and having the have the conveyor like double back around so even then it's not really going to be pretty but possible so we're running into issue here now with quality check slowing us down Paint is actually going pretty well. Actually, we're ahead on paint. So let's go ahead and get all this stuff upgraded. Uh, this is what's probably slowing us down. So let's actually work backwards. Get them robots going. Let's get these cars being pumped out. Again, I run my car companies like I run my YouTube channel. Don't worry about, you know, high quality cars. You don't need power windows and air conditioning and a radio and all this stupid superfluous crap. Just throw out as many cheap cars as humanly possible. I think that's the number one strategy for success in this game. Also rocking out to the sweet industrial music. So these probably don't even need to be upgraded, but again, I'm just gonna do it. Because what there's one thing I love in games like this, other than trying to be efficient, is upgrades. I love upgrading things. Anything that allow me to make stuff faster or higher quality, I'm gonna do it. Except of course in this build, we're just working on making stuff fast. Uh, let's go with the compact body as well, and I'll show you how to do the SUV body thing here. Did I pick that? Wasn't sure. Uh, go ahead and get this upgraded just because... Because really, again, I could still break this, this body out and split it off and come back in. Because all of this is set up to do that more efficiently. Uh, this is starting to be a problem. Wow, this is starting to be a big problem. So before we start making another car, Let's do this. I'm trying to think of how I want to do this. So we're going to split the road off from here. I'm going to pause while I'm thinking because I don't have anything popping up. So we're going to split off over here and have two quality controls at least. So we're going to lose some cars. That's fine. Unfortunately, those cars never got to go out and achieve their goals. They just kind of die early. All right, we're going to go out here for now. And we're going to do quality check. Because we don't need this road anymore either. I didn't put, I was going to say, I might leave that road there just so I can make a gap. But nah. 
It's not gonna be necessary because I didn't build this section with a gap, so... Alright, so now let's go ahead and get our quality checks in here. Ha, ooh, I could even build them here to save space a little bit. Oh, and I could- oh, I wouldn't have had to destroy that road. God damn it. Alright. So we got that quality check. We'll reconnect these roads. Hopefully that's right, because if I have to do all that again, I am going to... ...go insane. I'm trying to think what would be the absolute fastest way to do this, or most efficient. If I do it this way, I could have a... Th do it that way... Because I'm thinking in case we need a third one, where would we put it? I mean, we could also, you know, lay them out that way, but that feels inefficient. Let's do it this way. Wait, I think I- shit, I think I had that wrong way. Yeah, I did. God dang it. Wasting tons of money doing that kind of dumb thing. And I'll kind of show you my thought process on why that- is, why I did that, by the way, in just a second. Alright, so the reason I did that... ...is because... ...if we need to make a third one, or even more, we could put a third one here... And then the road, you know, the conveyor would come through and then circle back. Again, probably not, definitely not the most efficient. But, if we'd have done it over here, if I wanted a third one, I'd have to put it way over here. And I feel like that would have been a little less so. Probably prettier, but I'd rather have this room made for factories or something like that. So let's take a look at how we're doing. We'll go ahead and speed time up again. Keep an eye on this. This is back to back. Good, the paint is finally a non-issue. That is good to know. I'm curious to see if this quality thing is gonna need a third one. I don't think so. No, it's not. I can already tell that it's already ahead. And this is kind of catching up at this point. So we'll see how that goes. All right, let's go back over here. We keep, again, we keep seeing those insufficient resources. For that, I mean, right now, really the best way to do it is you just gotta have to select it and just keep an eye on it and see what it's missing. And if you see the same things popping up over and over, it's like, okay, that I need to work on getting more of. So this needs ran out of exhaust, brakes. Because another thing you can do is you can build a storehouse right next to it and make sure that you have those things on hand. And this tells you what your stockpile is. But that doesn't always tell you exactly what you need, because you only need one exhaust, but you need four wheels, right? So just because you've got two wheels to your one exhaust doesn't mean that's enough wheels. You might, you know, need you need twice as many wheels, but only, you know, one, one and a half as many times exhaust. I don't know, but you get what I'm saying. So it looks like we're running out of exhausts and brakes. So let's try this. I haven't really done much with this, with the stockpile thing. Uh, I'm curious to see how this is gonna go. So we'll put a stockpile. And I do know you you select it. We add some brakes, and we'll say I want to keep 20 brakes at all times. What was the other thing? Oh, wheels, just regular wheels. And I think the most you can have is- yeah, like, looks like 36 is about the most you can have. Uh, that- actually, no, we won't have less- No, it wasn't brakes, it was exhaust, wasn't it? Shit, it was. Uh, so let's actually put all three. We might need to put a, another storage thing here, and we might want to instead have storage for, like, all of these things individually. We want the most wheels, most likely, so we can keep- lower that a little bit. Lower the brakes a little bit. So now we will, of course, need a conveyor to go to this. We'll do that. Nice, we got the two bodies. All right, so 
that's done. I want to show you how that works here. Um, all right, well, let's start researching some uh, technologies. All right, so first, let's go with Universal. Let's let's start getting the Universal stuff. That everybody's like, oh my god, every other car has this. So that we we're not getting docked for not having stuff. So to make a new type of car, I'm going to slow it down so we're not getting interrupted by the research. We have our three different kinds of cars here. Now you can actually create your own model, and you can say, okay, what features I want? I want you know air conditioning and polished paintwork, which I actually forgot to add there. Uh, so that you know one type of sedan might have air conditioning and another one doesn't. Right now, I honestly don't see a point to that. I'm sure there is one, but I don't know what that what it does. I'm going to archive that, which just basically deletes it. For all intents and purposes, it deletes it. I think it's saved somewhere. But anyway, let's go ahead and make sure the sedan has uh, both of these features selected. Uh, we can also make SUVs. We're going to have these two features that we have selected, which is polished paintwork and air conditioning. And this, the compact also has those features. Uh, we're going to increase the price of this also to 45%. Wait, did, yeah, let's like make it 40%. We'll do 40% for now. So, now, how do you actually get them being produced? Well, you go to the beginning of your production line, which is the fit front axle here. We can change this. And what's cool is I can make this create nothing but one type of car, or I can say, okay, for every one sedan you make, I want to make one SUV and one compact. I think. What? Why is it not letting me add one? Hold on. There it goes. So I could change these if I wanted, but for now, that's going to work. So I could say, okay, you guys do that. And then I could say, all right, well, you build nothing but sedans and you build nothing but compacts or compacts rather. And I presume the main reason to do that is because like if, uh, like if this line is not built to have any add-ons, right? So if I'm just making cheap sedans, as like a baseline way to make money, I could say, okay, I don't want you making anything but sedans because I don't want my SUVs and I don't want my compacts coming out with no features on them. So I could just tell this line to build nothing but that. I'm not gonna do that. Uh, in fact, I'm just going to tell them to build one of everything. Where is it? There it is. And I can say, let's delete that. Actually, I probably can't do that. Let's do a sedan, make five sedans. Gonna delete that. Make five SUVs. And let's say for that, we'll make, you know, two compacts for all that. I'm not really doing that for any reason, but just kind of show you how you can do that. That way you're making less of those cars. If, I, and again, I would assume like, if you look at your sales models and you're like, oh, like the sedans are selling like crazy, but nobody's buying the compacts. You can still like make, make one compact for every 10 sedans you make, which is uh, really neat. I like that feature. All right, so how are we looking over here? Let's go ahead and back to speed number two. All right, let's add the heater so that you're not freezing in the winter. Winter's coming and all that. Yeah, we're actually slowed down on the on this. So now we need to look at, okay, well, do we need to split this up a little bit more? The door panels, that doesn't seem to be our holdup. This seems to be our holdup here. All the body stuff. And we do have everything upgraded on these, I believe. I can see all the little robot arms. So we're not going to do it now. We're going to wrap up this video here shortly. But what we'll probably do next video is split, do what we did with the paint. We're going to split this off into its own separate line. Uh, because we're having serious problems getting this manufacturing done here. Now, where we're going to have a problem, as you can see, is there's honestly almost no point in doing that because over here where we're putting wheels on that's going very very slow and because of my building snafu i'm not gonna be able to really recover from that not easily anyway i had to be doing some serious serious remodeling here what i really should have done in hindsight was even when i got to this part and realized that i had cocked this up really badly what I should have done was kept with my strategy of having the various sections with one 
one tile in between them. And then I could have just built the extras on the side over on this side. Now it would have been kind of harder to, to kind of figure out how to do that, but I think that would have been a better way of handling that. And we might go back and fix that, but mm, we'll see. Uh, this is again, this is one of those things that I hope that they, they streamline a little bit in future updates. So we've upgraded the heater. So to upgrade or to add a heater to the cars or to your various car designs, you have to go in and find them, which right now is not a big deal. It's like right there. Okay, you click it, not a big deal. When you start researching a lot of these add-ons, the list gets very, very large and it gets to be kind of a pain to scroll down and try to find what you just researched to check it. So I'm hoping there's a way in the future that they'll add where you can just say, okay, just, just flip it on for this design. Like turn on all new or whatever. Uh, again, I, I assume at some point you're probably going to want to have a whole bunch of different models where like some SUVs have air conditioning, some don't. Things like that. But right now I just wanted to have all the features and I'd like an easy way to do that. And again, as you start ad adding more and more and more add-ons, it gets fairly tedious to do that. Um, the other thing that's annoying about that is like, okay, so I just researched the heater. So the heater... Let's go look where that is installed. The heater is installed at Fit Dashboard. So now we need to find every single Fit Dashboard that we have, which I always, I never remember where stuff goes. This is the body section, front arch, rear arch, vent, roof, door panels, mirrors, that's the paint, so you know it's not gonna be there, powertrain, exhaust, brakes, wheels, Lights, horn, seats, aircon. That's just air conditioning, right? Yeah, that's not the heater. Dashboard, there it is. So now I found the dashboard. Now I can go in and say, okay, I bought the ability for this to add heaters. But keep in mind, you won't add the heater unless you've got this unlocked and if that model of car has it turned on to install the heater, right? So for example, if I said no sedans will have a heater, when sedans come through here, they won't have a heater added. So now imagine I had multiple of those. I'd have to go around and try to find every single one. So what I would like is some very, very easy way, overview way to be able to do that. Now there might actually be that in the game already and I just don't know where it's at, but um, we also need to research the next thing which again, now we're gonna kind of be doing technologies and I wanna do all the universal ones just so that we're not getting hit. Oh, we already have that one, nice. So keyless entry is gonna be next. But uh, yeah, we're, we're doing, still doing pretty good. We got nine cars in the lot. Uh, you can see we're definitely having some holdup issues here, or well, right here specifically. So we'll either try to fix that because again, I could fix this now, but it's pointless. Because this is our holdup. If we could be turning out a thousand cars a second down here, it doesn't matter. We keep getting bottlenecked right there. So that is going to be a problem where I'm going to have to decide I'm either going to need to fix or just say screw it. That line is just as, is as good as it's going to get and start building somewhere else. Because we still have two other sections here that we could look at to start building, uh, expanding to. But I don't know, we'll, we'll think about it. So this series, this series at least, is probably gonna be probably maybe like one more video. Uh, I feel like we're kind of getting to the point where we've tested the strategy out. I think the strategy will work. And we're getting to the point that we can just, the only things we have to research are upgrades for the cars. Yes, we can upgrade the ability to, to build the body, the, parts for the cars ourselves and maybe that's the route I'll go like once I got the universal features maybe I'll start focusing on on doing that instead but uh, I'm not not quite sure yet and I'm kind of just watching this uh, now we're running out of uh, radiators damn it but it does seem like now this is probably being more efficient than it was I think no nope, it's still now it's running out of tires so I think what we're probably going to want to do is get some, uh, what do you call those? Warehouses, storehouses, whatever's around that area and uh, start start getting those ready. But all right, so, and, and I'm kind of showing this process again, just to kind of show you what a pain it is right now. Uh, keyless entry is under fit door panels. 
Door panels, I'm pretty sure, is down here at body. Oh, no, I'm looking at the wrong place. And remember, keep in mind, we can't do those upgrades at those uh, at the earlier sections because they don't have the break broke down areas like this. So therefore, they cannot do them. Door trim, arch vents, bottom trim, bumper. Once you uh, learn where uh, everything is in the process, it'll be a lot easier to find this stuff. But right now, especially for me, where I don't rem like I have a hard time remembering stuff, trying to find exactly where stuff is can be a pain. However, I know what doors look like in the game. I know what they look like in real life, too. So I can just kind of eyeball it. Here we go. Boop. So now we have keyless entry. Then we can research. I'm wondering, uh, hmm. You know what, let's start trying to re, instead of doing the improvements, let's go ahead and stick with our strategy. Our old strategy, just to see if it works. Let's start working on manufacturing our own stuff. What are we running low on? Wheels? Wheels was one of the things. Let's go ahead and do that. We'll make our own damn wheels. But uh, anyway, we're going to drop our uh, car to a close there. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Definitely let me know what you're thinking of the game and of the series in the comment section below. Like the videos if you do like it. It does help me out a lot, and I'll see you next time.